Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? All I can say is we are Venom. What's up, Ben? Who? What's up, Vaughn? What's up? And I'm not going to eat your brains, but we're going to talk about what Venom will do. So, what's going on, Ben? The Venom trailer leaked last, officially was brought out last night. Right, and uh, and it looked amazing. He looked amazing. Yes. Um, very menacing. We looked and amazing. That, I just hope there was more than that one scene. I hope yes. that it yeah. continues throughout the movie. But it looked really good. I must say, I was really happy with that because I must have seen that uh, about three or four times. What initially, of course, the the takeoff. Then uh, a certain YouTuber's take on it. Then I forget how many other times, but each time there's that scene where he's like, this is going to be spoilers for the uh, the trailer, of course, where he's literally flying over the motorcycle after taking that uh, that hill. And every time I see that, it just gives me chills every damn time. And, uh, so I'm psyched yes. about it. Um, it. You know, this is Avengers Week, man. So this yep. is this is where it's about. Yep. Can't wait for Avengers. Yes. Um, that hype is there. I mean, we had a lot of weird shit happen this week. We had Ash vs. Evil Dead get canceled. Then the Netflix campaign Ooh. go on. Mm. Then Bruce Campbell retired as Ash. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Um, something that wasn't heartbreaking but was a train wreck was the Halloween 2018 end. <laughs> 100% suck. Redo it. Yeah. And that was I amazing. I have crashed outside my door. I looked out, and there's this big old Halloween face looking at me. And Thank you, Danny mm-hmm. McBride. But anyway. Um, the best part about that was John Carpenter was denying there was a um, cast audience that saw it. And sure. then a group from a Universal exec said there was one in the track and told him to stop talking yeah. like that. Yeah, basically. I'm so, just, just continue. Yeah. You know what? Again, this is because egos fly. You're not making it for the fans. You're making it to prove your point yep. or your fight with Rob Zombie. Yep. So take your movie, shine it up real nice, and let's see what happens. Oh, we did see what happens. Sorry. They don't like it. You they did. don't like it. That's right. You there was a test turned so much, folks. They don't like it, and now you're going to have to spend money to fix it if you could. Yes. Speaking about stuff that they're trying to fix desperately, Predator, which <laughs> – Excuse me. Uh, there we go. I guess people don't like a child defeating someone that a Arnold Schwarzenegger can only defeat, basically, or Danny yeah. Glover if you count yeah. Danny Glover. But like, yeah. Now, not a, why are we having comedy in Predator? Uh, why do we have like predators that like are looking for diplomats and asylum? Go hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Do I want to see predators with lab coats? No, because I just don't. I don't envision that when I go to sleep at night. That that. I just see them as hunters and whatever. Yeah. So no, no. Way to ruin childhood, Hollywood. You just give it to us and snatch it right back. Um, speaking of egos, oh, yeah. is the predator in, in a post credit scene going to have a rat put, a rat battle with the alien? I don't know. Speaking of egos, James Cameron uh, wants Avengers to just fizz out, so that way his movies can prosper. Uh. What, Avatar 27? No. Um, Avengers is not going to fizzle out, so no. you should make a better movie. Somebody from DC to make the Avengers movies. Then you should make a better DC. movie instead of praying that Avengers dies. In no. fact, you don't make a movie of Terminator because you're mad at Patty Jen- Jenkins yeah. with yeah. Wonder Woman. Because yeah. you want to show how a woman role model is done, yeah. written by a man. Yeah, exactly. Wow. You must have worked really hard on that scene when you had Linda Hamilton <laughs> falling for fucking the guy in the first one. And unfortunately, he may have, you know, signed his own um, sentence, as it were, because you just put, basically, you just effed yourself because you told a successful movie to go ahead and just drop off the face of Earth. Now, yes. what that tells me, Karma is a bitch, and it's probably going to yeah. fall on your movies now that it won't be successful yeah. as the Avengers. And it proves that you have nothing to offer anymore by, but just not even you know, respecting people for doing what they're doing. 
Yeah. It also says when you're 75 to 85, mm -hmm. you don't act like you were 20, 30, and 40 because exactly. you just don't give a shit. Yeah. And you say shit that maybe you shouldn't fucking say. Exactly. You killed your demographic. What if there's a backlash because of what you said and people would not see your movies in the future? Yeah. And going from ego to someone that's full of shit, Ridley Scott, by the way, <laughs> who just thinks, oh, let's have an alien movie without aliens because oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we call those things in space. And why does it have to be limited to that, that one life form? Huh? Let's do robots because I don't have the rights to Terminator, but we got Michael Fassbender, so let's go. And guess what? Movie company said, no, sorry, you are rejected. What, what you want to be fired? Yeah. What Fassbender going to be doing? Turning out swords and assassinating people? Yeah, yeah. like, uh, were you trying to be Assassin's Creed? It didn't work, right? Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. He tries to use his magnetic powers to bring people together. So now he does a 180, and he's like, oh, I love the aliens, the xenomorphs. We're going to have an alien awakening. <laughs> My God. It's going to be the greatest movie ever because I'm so motivated now because I was almost yeah. Wow. How I'm about smelling something and it's not the alien poop. How about you give a fucking phone call to Sigourney Weaver? Yeah. Throw some money in the envelope. Yeah. Fuck all this bullshit and let's go with the fucking proper alien fucking three. Or, or even or even, even, yet, even yet. There's things called dump trucks. You can throw them. Bitch load of money into those, roll it up to her or whoever, and go, I'm sorry. Here's all money in let's it. Let's make a good movie. Money in a dump truck. There you go. Okay? Because you know what? Your ideas are fucking crazy as shit. Jesus Christ is not a fucking whatever that thing was yeah. in fucking Prometheus. You, you, you said, I'm not doing no aliens in Prometheus 2, 3, and 4, whatever. And meanwhile, you fucking change. So yeah. you need to hire you, you Neil Bond kid. Or mid credit scene where you see a little Yeah, yeah. Get, and, and China said, you know what? You're not even allowed to use the fucking thing in that movie. I don't know how they cut that shit together. Yeah. The final moment, they wouldn't even have a xenomorph. They probably had a teddy bear or some shit fighting the lady. They, they cut that shit out in, in Alien Covenant. I would love to see that cut, by the way. But anyway, so yeah, just call Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Retcon this shit. Retroboot it. Whatever the fuck you got to do. Make she wakes up and Newt's older and this is this and fucking whatever. You know, maybe there was maybe Newt woke up and she didn't wake up and, and you know, Hicks yeah. didn't wake up or whatever. And now she wakes up and there's like a whole thing going on, you know, whatever. The, ooh, like the very first Planet of the Apes, you know, how the uh, suspended, uh, the little suspended animation thing, some of them got cracked. Uh, if Sigourney Weaver doesn't want to do it, do it with the Newt thing, but Newt finds no, out. She'll do it. Yeah, she'll do it. She'll do it in five minutes. Yeah. She'll do it. Um, so, yeah, let's just get this alien thing That going. or somehow the, uh, the, the suspended animation thing was, uh, had gotten compromised, and she imagined some of this crap. And then to talk about egos again, the RoboCop writer said, oh, I didn't write RoboCop 2. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do RoboCop 3. I didn't do what? RoboCop 4. I didn't do the TV series. I didn't do the comics. Guess what? They don't count. Wiped. So now we're going to have a sequel to RoboCop. Maybe you're going to have Peter Weller. I don't know. How, I mean, if he can. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know how that's going to be. But you know what? We're getting a RoboCop 2. So the reboot's actually wiped for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then going back to the original. Back to basics. Back to basics. Mm -hmm. Which some of these movies should have done in the first place. Just yep. go back to basics. Because it's, it's pretty bad. And fucking Men in Black becomes Thor Ragnarok with suits. So, I mean, you got the fucking Valkyrie yeah, and you got fucking really Thor with a tongue. I don't know how I feel about that. Because basically, I adore the original Men in Black. Because yeah, had Will here. Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. And they did a magnificent job in all three movies. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it would be Men in Black with those two in it. See, the thing, the problem is, is that, and it's not really a problem. Well, it is a problem. Will Smith don't want to come back. 
well. He just in this mood that he just doesn't want to do sequels. And and you know what? Tommy Lee Jones is getting older, and yeah. you know um, the other guy is busy doing Pete Thanos and freaking Cable. So it, mm -hmm. I mean, basically, you know, they they're saying, hey, why does our franchise have to be dependent on those two actors? We want to really continue it, and it sucks that we have to wait 20, 30 years for a damn sequel. So yeah. we just want to make a whole bunch of other agents and just go. And I'm I, I'm okay with that because you know what? Yeah, that's not fair. Let y'all be okay with it because I I don't feel as well. We'll see. It might suck. So long as you give nods to them, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, come on. That's we know what happened without him in, in Independence Day. It sucked in the second. Yes. So I mean I don't know, man. I just I'm torn with it. I do I'd rather right. see them in it, but I don't know. I mean I don't know about the casting choices neither. I mean How about don't call it Men in Black Four? No. It's a spin-off. Just do something yeah. else. I mean, what made it work is was chemistry. They had chemistry. Yes. I don't I don't see that dynamic with those two. I mean, I'm sorry. I may be wrong about saying that, but I just don't see it. Yeah. I see it it's as like gonna be slapstick and comedy. It's like I said with the. I rather see Jeff Goldblum as a man in black. I don't I would know like if it's because that. I still see Ron Ely that sort of esque towards it, mm -hmm. but I see the guy who played Thor or his brother more as playing uh, Doc Savage than I do the Rock. I'm not saying now, the I'd Rock. I rather see. Um, but I'd yeah, I'd rather see Jeff Goldblum and Peter Dinklage. Oh yeah. yes, no, that would have oh, been. Speaking I of uh, Jeff man Goldblum, we've got a. Yeah. He's got a. Another, he's got a movie himself coming out. I know. Oh, I've seen the hotel. Yeah. Hold that one out. yeah. Oh, if you haven't seen the oh, if you haven't seen that trailer, folks. Oh, see it. He played. Oh, it is so good. I would like to see. Yeah, that's. The, I would love the casting like that for Men in Black. That that's that gets me. The other one, I'm yes. like, okay. Ooh, well. what about Jeff Goldblum in uh, Men in Black? I just said That's that. That's what you just said. Oh, I could You're not even that. paying attention to me. It's a Jeff Goldblum and Peter Dinklage and Men in Black. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I would like to see that pairing because I think that would work better. Yeah. I mean, no offense to those two, but yeah. I mean, after seeing them in Avengers and uh, Thor and all of that, I'm like, I. We need like 10 uh, movies of Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, we do yes. need more Jeff Goldblum, yes. Goldblum instead of those yeah. two. Have movies. to be. Let's have Jeff Goldblum. Hang out with friggin' Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yeah. we should do like a, a friggin' thing. Yeah. Where like they just chill, like on Earth, but they're like super powered. You're like, yeah. oh, he's just walking the Earth and getting a Starbucks and he's like, whatever. Because <laughs> he looked like he was regular in the role in the third one. So. Oh, yeah. here's, here's another notion. How about return to Thank God It's Friday? Because uh, Goldblum was in that. He mm. played the. Uh, the sex crazed uh Jesus. Uh, I don't want to see him without a shirt, please. No. Disco tag. Wait, ah. what? Thank God it's Friday? I never yes. heard of that. He was in it. Mm. Interesting. Huh. So let's talk quickly. I know we have a time. Yeah, we have three minutes, yeah. All right, so let's go quickly about the box office. Monday's box office, Quiet Place has two hundred and seven million. Great job. Rampage is number two. Rampage has in 284 million. Great job. I, I feel it. pretty with Amy Schumer has in 17 million. Mm. Not great job yet. Not great. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super Troopers 2. Excellent movie. Uh, 16 million beats budget. So it did what it had to do. Um, so then we got Ready Player One, number five. And Ready Player One has in five hundred twenty-two million. Wow! Damn. You go, Steven Spielberg. You know Spielberg all those haters movie. that said all that shit. You took yeah. care of that shit. It's a Spielberg okay. movie. You can't do that to no Spielberg movie. Yeah, yeah. Blockers uh, made sixty-eight million worldwide. I love how they censored themselves in the title. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, me too. that was clever. <laughs> right. Uh, to the Dare, thirty-eight million and climbing. Renter. I know, but it still it still did what it had to do, though. I know. Unfortunately, it's a renter. Um, oh shit! Oh, Black Panther. Okay, I'm sorry. Black <laughs> Panther. I was I couldn't find Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Black Panther is one billion three hundred twenty five million. Now we are so damn close for it to beat the Last Jedi. You could fucking taste it. So all I'm gonna say is, this is the last fucking week, and I know yeah, Avengers yeah. is out. 
Yeah. If you're going to see Avengers, great. If you're going to see a second movie, screw all that other shit and yes. go and see go Black, Black Panther. Black Panther again, yeah. We Black need Panther. The Last Jedi to fall. Please. Do it for me, all right? I Please. feel the disturbance in the force. So damn close. We are so... We are just it's there, so, man. It's so refreshing. Oh, God. It's a breath of fresh air. Not that the air, does, it was stale, but it was, you can never give enough of fresh air. That's yes. right. Let's, Wakanda forever, baby. Wakanda Do it for forever. Wakanda. Yes. Yes. Do it for Wakanda, man. Let's go. Go to Black Panther. Take care of that. There you go. Just such, oh, it's invigorating. I love <gasps> it. I love yeah. it so much. Wow. Love that movie. Anyway. Let's do our socks. Let's do our socks. All right. On that note, thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now.